the rivers of india india is blessed with hundreds of large and small rivers which drain the length and breadth of the country rivers constitute the most useful natural resource they are a great source of water for irrigation industry domestic utilities and for producing hydroelectricity depending upon the origin of rivers two broad drainage systems of india are generally recognized as the himalayan rivers including the indus the ganga the brahmaputra and their tributaries and the peninsula rivers such as mahanadi the godavari the krishna the tapi the narmada and the kaveri let us now study about the himalayan rivers the indus river the indus originates near the mansarovar lake from the glaciers of the kailash range in western tibet it flows in the northwest direction in the trans himalaya region and continues to flow between ladakh and zaskar ranges the indus system of rivers comprises of the indus and its five main left bank tributaries that are jhelum chenab ravi bees and satluj which combine into one river near mithan coat in pakistan and finally drains into the arabian sea the ganga the ganga originates at the gangotri glacier its left bank tributaries are yamuna ghagra gandak kosi chambal betwa and son the ganges flows along with its right bank tributaries that are pindar mandakini doli ganga bishen ganga and finally alaknanda which joins it at devprayag it then reaches haridwar debouching from the hills and enters the plains from here it flows in south and southeast direction for a distance of 770 kilometers to reach allahabad the ganga is called as padma when it enters bangladesh it meets the jamuna and retains its name but finally meets meghna near chanpur and adopts the name meghna before draining in the bay of bengal the brahmaputra the brahmaputra rises in the great chema yungdum glacier in the kailas range of the himalayas it flows eastwards in southern tibet for about 1800 kilometers and then turns south and southwest near namcha barwa it enters india west of sadia town in arunachal pradesh where it receives the dibang and the lohit its left bank tributaries are redak subanseri belseri manas champaman gangadhar raida dharla and tista its right bank tributaries are dibru burhi dihing noa dihing dikhu and kalang rivers and drains in the bay of bengal now let us study about the peninsular rivers in brief the mahanadi the mahanadi originates in the dandakaranya range in raipur district of chatisgarh its tributaries on the left bank are sionath hasto and mand and on the right bank are ong tel river and jonk river from its source the river takes a northeasterly course beyond siori narain it flows eastwards and enters orissa and finally empties itself into bay of bengal the godavari the godavari originates in the trimbak plateau near nasik in maharashtra its right bank tributary is manjara and the left bank tributaries are poon vardha pranhita vein ganga and pen ganga rivers originating in the western ghats it flows eastwards across the deccan plateau between the states of maharashtra and andhra pradesh it then crosses andhra pradesh and turns to flow in a southeast direction it finally drains into bay of bengal the krishna the krishna rises from a spring near mahabaleshwar in the western ghats it is joined by its left bank tributaries such as koina ghat prabha and bhima and the right bank tributaries include 
Musi, Paliru, Panchganga, and Tungabhadra rivers. Flowing through Maharashtra and Karnataka, it finally enters Andhra Pradesh and drains into Bay of Bengal. The Kaveri It originates in the Brahmagiri range of Western Ghats. Its left bank tributaries are the Harangi, Hemavati, Simsa, Arkavati, and Lokpavani, and the right bank tributaries include Lakshman Tirtha, the Kabani, Suvarnavati, Bhavani, and Amravati. Flowing from Tal Kaveri in Madikeri district of Karnataka, it passes through South Interior Karnataka and enters Southern Tamil Nadu. It drains in the Bay of Bengal, passing through Naga Pattinam district. The Narmada The Narmada originates on the western banks of the Amar Kantak Plateau. Rising from the Amar Kantak Hill in Madhya Pradesh, it moves along the Mandi Hill towards the Satpura Range before reaching Jabalpur and passing through the Marble Rocks. It is joined by the left bank tributaries such as Burnir, Banjar, Shar, Shakar and Tawa rivers and the right bank tributaries include Hiran, Orsang, Barna and the Kola rivers. It enters the Narmada Valley between the Vindhyas and Satpura ranges and pursues a westerly course. It flows through the states of Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Gujarat before draining into the Arabian Sea. The Tapi The Tapi originates in the sacred tank of Multai on the Satpura Plateau in Betul district of Madhya Pradesh. Its main tributaries on the left bank are Khursi, Kapra, Khokri, Utauli, Vaghur and Amravati and on the right bank are Purna, Betul, Patki, Ganjal, Dhatranj, Bokar, Bokar. It then flows westwards flowing through Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and southern Gujarat. It finally drains into the Arabian Sea. Brought to you by Compete India's Jito Bharat, a one-stop internet-based interactive coaching for civil services exams. For more information, log on to www.jitobharat.com.